Symbolism is going to be a bit of a jumping off point where we move from the realism that has been with us, and by realism I mean depicting sort of realistic imagery, and we're going to start really moving off into abstraction. Now, symbolism is a very interesting movement. Whereas the Impressionists believed that in following sensation and depicting, sorry, they believed in following sensation and depicting their work, and the Post-Impressionists believed that they should depict their emotion in their work, but still depicted the natural world, the Symbolists will use color, line, and shape generally divorced from the conformity or any sense of conformity to optical reality to speak to the world around them with signs and symbols. What does this boil down to? Basically, they don't see the need to depict things in realistic terms. Everything is going to be metaphorical. It's meant for the viewer to read into to a certain extent. This is where we start to draw the viewer into the image for the purpose of creating their own meaning. Now, that takes on a much smaller role in symbolism than, say, when we get to abstract expressionism, but you get the idea. We're starting another evolution. Instead of the artist giving us all of the material that we need, now the viewer needs to start adding their own understanding, adding their own ideas, and each viewer will come away with a slightly different idea of what they've just looked at. So paintings like this tend to be fairly open to interpretation. With that said, in symbolism, we usually have fairly accurate titles that we can use to really help us understand what we're looking at, or at least give us a jumping off point as we move into the work.